Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. Today I'm going to show you a very different uh, tutorial in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have uh, added a Canon here. And this slide is very useful in the office or workplaces where you want to celebrate some of your co-workers or colleagues achievements or anniversaries or something else. And this is how the slide works. When I click, the cannon will fire. And the reason will fall down from the top, like happy anniversary or if someone certified on something or some achievement he did or something different he did in the office, you can use this slide for that particular purpose. So let's see how we can create this beautiful different slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides and I'm going to show you how to make a cannon. Go to insert shapes. Under basic shapes, select trapezoid. Draw the trapezoid maybe this much size and then you can rotate it left 90 degrees. And if you want, you can increase the size a little bit here. And then go to insert shapes under rectangles, select top corners rectangle rounded and make it a rounded curved at the top. And this also you rotate it 90 degrees right and attach it here. And then I'm going to insert one more normal rectangle. Something like this. And make sure that the outlines are not there. And I'm going to give some different color here. For this I'm going to give maybe a light color. And this will be some darker colors. I'm going to change the colors later on. So for the time being, let's stick to these colors. And front, I'm going to make one more rounded corner rectangle. Make it fully curved. Reduce the size. And put it front. And this also you can give some different color. Shape outline, make it no outline. And then the last one, insert one oval shape to give a 3D effect. I'm just going to make something like this. And shape outline, make it no outline and put it here and then send this to back so you can see here our cannon is ready only the part then we have to create the wheels so let me just select all these objects press ctrl g to group it and i'll keep this aside now i'm going to make a wheel to make a wheel go to insert shapes and select a rectangle and draw the rectangle in the middle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it black let me just reduce the size and make align center align middle let me just keep this this side and then press ctrl D to duplicate and then align center align middle and using the alt and the right arrow key you can just rotate the rectangle like this again press ctrl d again one more how many you need for example i don't need i want to give more spaces here so i'm going to press alt and the right arrow key once again so i got this one i'll press ctrl d 
I have to make sure that this is properly aligned to this and again Alt 1 2 times Control D 1 2 Control D duplicate 1 and 2 Control D 1 and 2 see you can see here the inner part is ready and then I'm going to add a outer part of the tire which is I'm going to select this and bring it here and reduce the size this also you make it black color and in the center you can add one more oval shape shape outline no outline and align center align middle this also i'll remove the outlines see you can see here the wheel is ready i'll just press ctrl g to group it it becomes a wheel now i'm going to change the background right mouse click go to format background use some nice backgrounds in the back let me just use this one light blue color and bring the cannon and this one i'm going to select maybe a white color and this i will make it somewhat dark colors and this also a dark color or if you want you can make it some other color also orange or whatever and this also i will make it somewhat darker color now you can see here the wheel is ready the cannon is ready let me just rotate the cannon upwards maybe like this and i'll bring the wheel here wheel is very big let me just make it small and then i'm going to add one more wheel press ctrl d and shape fill make it somewhat maybe this color and put it here and send this to back you can see here it's kind of a two wheels now and the cannon in the center so our design of the cannon is almost ready so i'm just going to select all press ctrl g to group it and if you want you can reduce a little bit something like this i will ungroup it and then i will tilt this a little bit further make it more upwards right so the cannon is ready now let's concentrate on the gunpowder so i don't want to kill people so i'm not going to use the gunpowder so instead of gunpowder i'm going to replace this with some normal powerpoint shapes so just let me just add one normal rectangle i'll create maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and you can give a white color right mouse click edit points and then you can just change the shape you want okay now let me just reduce it smaller one so here i'm going to make many of this one you have to make maybe hundreds so i'm just not going to show you all but i can show, show you uh, one or two so what i'm going to do let me just give some different color here uh, i'll use maybe pink and i'm going to keep this one here and i'm going to do the animation so go to animation enable the animation pane and here add animation go down and just say line under motion paths and it's going down here so i don't want that to go down instead it should go here can you see here it should go here and when i click play 
it should go like this and it should go very fast so let me just remove this smooth start smooth and timings i'll make it fast let's see how it looks but still i have to make it fast very fast so make it very fast that's good now once this fire here and i want this to falls down here so again i'm going to select this and i'm going to add one more animation add animation i will just select a custom path and i'm just going to make the custom fast the fall till here double click can you see here so this one should happen after previous if i play now it goes and then it falls down here so likewise you have to create so many i will just press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl d i have duplicated this i will change the color to maybe orange and you can place it and this also should happen with previous animation should happen with previous or i can just put this one here you can see here it goes and then it falls down and this should also happen with previous so if you see here if i play all it goes and it goes and if you want you can just reduced or delay a little bit maybe a 0.25 seconds you can see here so you have to create so many and on top of that one i'm just going to make some more uh, stars on the top i'll just select some stars here i'll put it above the slide and again give some nice colors let me just make one and this also i'm going to animation add animation i will just select custom path and this also it's going like this and this should happen also with previous and i will put this one here or i'll let me just put it here and when i play you can see the star is also falling again i'm going to add so many stars here and different uh, shapes or different lines or whatever you can just uh, add it here so let me just add some more i'll just add a curve double click shape outline i'll just make it pink weight i will just increase it and this also i'll put it on top of the slide and using the animation painter i'm going to do that one select this and see this is also falling so if i play again here when i click this will go and this will come like this and then you can add your text which will reveal the text so if you see my slide you see how many i have added here so many and with different here you cannot see with the animation let me just show you with the you can see here if i move this one so many are there here so many so many are there so you have to just use all of this and it's a time consuming job and if you don't have the time just directly use this slide and change the text i will just say some other text maybe happy not anniversary something else you know anyway it's up to you to decide what you want and this is how the slide looks when i click 
all that comes and then the text will appear from there so that's it from me friends uh, you can use this one for a variety of reasons as i mentioned earlier and thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.